All right, this is Chris with Progressive Ideas in Wood, and today we got a good one for you. So let's just jump right in. All right, Eastern Red Cedar, one of the most useful multi-purpose lumbers that there is. For centuries, it's been used in making or lining closets, chests, wardrobes. Uh, in many instances, it's left unfinished for the aromatic properties that it has. It's not only insect resistant, but it repels insects as well. It's equally known for its outdoor application since it has superb rot resistance. And again, it's good with not receiving insect damage. It's a wonderful wood. The coloring for Eastern Red Cedar comes in three parts. When you cut the trees down, uh, and start milling them up, what you'll notice is the heartwood will tend to be a, a dark purple um, or a deep red. And as they dry up over time, it'll fade into like pinks and salmons and light browns. But it will continue from there because as it sits over long periods of time, those colors will start deepening and turning the light reds into dark reds and burgundies. It'll start going back into some darker purples. It's a super functional wood, a ton of use to it. Even the sap wood, you can see the grain distinction. It's beautiful all around. There's nothing plain about it. It's easy to work with. It's a lighter wood, it's not very heavy. The average dry weight is about 2.8 pounds of board foot. It's Janka is about 900. It's a ring porous wood, and the cost is about eight to fifteen dollars a board foot, depending on where you are in the in the United States. Now we'll take a look at pear wood. Pear wood in Europe is used the same as cherry is used in the in the U.S. That's to say, it's a a, a quality interior hardwood. On a personal note. I will say cherry is easier to work with since pear is notably harder. It tends to have light brownish tans to salmon coloring. Grain is present but not overly distinct. Um, it's an all around good furniture choice. It turns, glues, drills well, but it could be a little bit of tough on, a, on equipment, especially through the, the milling process. It also has good musical properties too. From, from what I understand, though i got to say I've never personally made an instrument. Anyways, the average dry weight is about 3.6 pounds of board foot. The jank is about 1660. This one's a diffused porous wood, and the cost range is about 18 to $22 a board foot, just so you see the difference. The difference between those two boards, they're both pair, this one is cleaned up, and that's still rough zone. There you have it. Okay, on to leadwood. Leadwood is a South African wood, as its name suggests. It's a very heavy, dense wood. Uh, the coloring is a medium to dark brown, sapwood being a pale tannish yellow. In Africa, it tends to be used as a fuel wood mostly. It has great outdoor applications since all the boxes are checked. Strong, durable, insect resistant, high natural oil content. It turns excellent. I heard that it carves very well, being able to hold small complex details. Uh, the one big downside is you will blunt all of your milling tools. My favorite use for lead wood is mallets. And with that said, this, that's lead wood and purple heart. It's very nice looking wood. It's very heavy, very durable. The average dry weight is 6.3 pounds a board foot. That is very heavy. The Janka's uh, 3,570. It's a diffuse porous wood and the cost per board foot is about 30 bucks. On to honey locust. Honey locust ranges from South Central and Eastern United States. Uh, the coloring it's a, like a golden brown, can have some oranges in it. The sapwood's a pale yellow. Honey locust is a pain to dry out. Let me just tell you that. It's a freaking pain in the neck. It tends to just hold on to its moisture content. 
Um, it has a naturally silky texture to it. It has like a natural luster to it. It's it's a really cool looking wood. Uh, the workability tends to be in the mid range, mostly due to its density. Availability can be tough, depending on on where you live. Getting your getting your hands on it. But what I wanted to also show you guys is this piece that you're looking at right now is this one's cleaned up. This one's been planed. And the one under it, that one has not. That is just a rough sewn piece. It tends to look a bit drab. Watch this magic, this, this little magic trick. You see how it gets to like a honey colored with like oranges and stuff in it. And this is just a, a rough sewn piece figured pieces they're they're really exceptional you don't see them a lot because it's not a real popular wood but i'm going to have a, a special arboretum coming up where honey locust will again be in it but a completely different look at it in a different type the average dry weight is about 3.8 pounds of board foot jank is about 1550 this one is a ring porous wood as well and the cost range is about 10 to 15 dollars a board foot so, there you have it, honey locusts.